Hello everyone and welcome. So today I'm going to go over the top nine SEO plugins that you should have for big commerce. So let's go right in. All right, everybody. So the first one on the list is Fave SEO plugin. Now, Fave SEO plugin is a fantastic app for big commerce and essentially allows you to do SEO metadata and descriptions and titles for all of your products on big commerce. Now, this is extremely important to have because you have a number of different products. It's probably many. And what this essentially does is allows you to have all of these products under one place and control all of the meta descriptions and titles in one place. Now, along with this, it also gives you the ability to look up the SEO audits for your page, like home page SEO score, page speed, and even average position. Now, some of the other features include uh, able to fix and adjust title tags and uh, title uh, meta descriptions as well for your website. So this is a paid app. It costs $19.95 per month and I do highly recommend it. Now the next one that's very important nowadays is more people are going to your website and perhaps unable to go into store or less less going in the store. So what's going on now is you need ways to communicate with your customers and for that I recommend a app called live chat and live chat essentially is just that it allows you to have direct conversations with your customers when you install this into your website you can talk with your customers directly and you can control all of the chats if they have questions for you you can pick the times that you're active you can organize all kinds of different chats for different people people can even message you when you're not uh, active or beyond the hours that you set say 10 to 5 p.m. for chat and you can uh, answer them later so very handy another part of this uh, because this app is in fact paid it does cost sixteen dollars per month so be aware of that there is a free version which uses Facebook Messenger now the downside of course is that if customers do not have Facebook they won't be able to talk with you so they will need Facebook for this to work but it is very handy nonetheless and it works and it's free so there is the option for Facebook now the next one is called better box better coupon box and basically this is a very handy tool because uh, this app allows you to have pop-ups when uh, people leave your site or have cart abandonment and you can have a pop-up saying hold on I have a 20% off coupon for you or something to that effect and basically this prevents uh, card abandonments well sometimes and gives you increased conversions so this is a very handy tool for that uh, it does have let's see uh, no cost actually so this is free so this actually is something that can improve your SEO because you'll have less um, people leaving your site and that sort of thing which increases conversions which is good and that overall helps the next one is something that I want to go into which is uh, Google Shopping now Google Shopping app by sales and orders um, actually so this one is a is a good one to have in your mix because it allows you to add up to 10,000 SKUs for free which is phenomenal um, most of the time that's more than enough products and you'll be able to add all of these products very quickly to create feeds into Google Shopping and Google Shopping is something that nowadays uh, Google has just announced that it is going to be free and for SEO that is a big big plus so you're gonna want to make sure you have all your products on Google Shopping so that you can take really good advantage of that that's definitely gonna help you another item here is Facebook ads and this is kind of a similar idea where basically this allows you to create a feed of all your products into Facebook and uh, put those in there it's free again to 10,000 SKUs which is just fantastic the next one for SEO improvement is Google customer reviews. Google customer reviews are essential for businesses. You basically want to have a good rapport with your customers and on, a, on average 80 plus percent of customers check an online review before making a purchase. They want to make sure you're a legitimate company. 
So you want to make sure you have those great Google reviews. And this is a plugin or an app, sorry, that definitely helps you with that. It can improve your CTR with Google Shopping. It can help, uh, you know, improve brand loyalty, all that stuff. But customer reviews are really fantastic for your business. So definitely want to have that. Another great item is to have a survey when people complete an order and they can tell you how, um, how good the experience was, which is absolutely essential nowadays. Now, not everybody's going to do that. There's going to be a lot of people that just don't do it, and that's fine. That happens. But for the ones that do, it is some valuable information for your business. Uh, the next one is Google Analytics integration. Now, Google Analytics is essential for your business because it does so many wonderful things, and there could be a video on that alone, but believe me when I say Google Analytics is a powerhouse tool that you need on your e-commerce site. Um, it's easy to implement. You basically can have a free account from Google Analytics, so all you have to do is go into the back end of BigCommerce, go to Advanced Settings, and then go to Web Analytics, and then from there you can check the Google Analytics option and you'll see Google Analytics here where you can add your tag. Now usually that is a long number that starts with UA and basically that will enable you to see all kinds of things from conversions to people that are on there and it's a little more advanced analytics than what is included with BigCommerce. So I definitely recommend that. Also it does help give you a little boost SEO wise so I absolutely recommend that. that. The next one that is really um, important that it's kind of outside of the box is YouTube. YouTube is the second most popular search engine, period. So it is essential that you have your business with videos on YouTube. And if you don't have videos for your products, then there are tons and tons of products that people are looking up all day from best dresses, cute outfits, cute shirts, cute shoes, you know, barber clips, for example, uh, hair clippers right now. That's something that people are looking up. And here's an example of a partnership I did with um, one of the companies I work with is partnered with a local, um, well, actually a fairly decent sized YouTuber and allowed them to get ads onto their pro, uh, their videos, for example. And this is something you can do, like right there, there's an ad for them. And what you can do in this case is basically partner with influencers that have videos already that are popular and see if they'd be interested in maybe getting some free merch or like mentioning your product for giving them a discount or whatever you can work out. That, that can often be really helpful to improve conversions and get a lot of people onto your site and to see it. The next one and final one is page analytics. Page analytics is very, very important. Um, but this is just a really cool tool because it kind of ties everything in visually onto your site. And basically this page analytics is a Chrome browser extension. And what that means is you can add it to Chrome and you can turn it off or turn it on and it enables you to see m more details on who's going to your site and what they're clicking on specifically. So it'll give you kind of a graphical interface a little bit here, not quite as much as an honorable mention I'm mentioning soon, but basically it gives you that information for where they're clicking, what's popular, and maybe areas that you should tweak or change because people aren't looking at it so much. So that's one that's really popular. Now I'd like to go into some honorable mentions. These are ones that didn't quite make the list for SEO wise, but they are still very important and should be considered for your big commerce website. The first one I want to mention is a app called Vantage. Now Vantage is an app that uses AI driven management to try and drive sales and conversions and all that stuff. So basically it helps you do A-B testing. It helps you work on you know different analytics for your site and try and get you more conversions more sales so that's where it is there's custom pricing on that i don't know all the pricing details but it is a popular and recommended app the next one is an app called shogun now shogun is extremely popular it has 237 reviews for example and climbing really good reviews as well it is a paid app so but what this does is it has page builder and a b testing so it makes it really easy for you to customize your pages and adapt the pages to your liking to make them look really cool and to do tests on your products for user interface wise um, which is really neat it also does feature a live chat option 
which could save you some money on the back end if you wanted to use this instead of paying the extra $16 a month, for example. Um, so again, it has a lot of features. That's only barely the scratching the surface of it. It does have a price of $49 a month, so be aware of that. That is kind of a high price per month, but people seem to like it. So the next and final one is called Lucky Orange, and Lucky Orange is heat map testing or heat maps, and heat maps basically allow you to um, see where people are clicking in a more graphical way, more so than the page analytics extension that I talked about before. So it'll actually give you little maps, little points of interest of where people are clicking most, where they're kind of using their mouse and like looking around the most, and that's pretty interesting when you're doing user interface design and that sort of stuff to try and improve every microscopic get get every every little chance you can at improving your site so this does have a cost of ten dollars a month that's why it was kind of an honorable mention versus the page analytics which i feel is pretty essential to have um, on your website uh, to do that but overall I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you got some good information. If you had any questions about any of these apps, please leave them below. Uh, and if you had any that you recommended that you didn't see, please let me know on that too because I love knowing new plugins. It always helps. Uh, again, be well and have a wonderful, wonderful day. <laughs>